Hi, I'm Jim McCord. I'm licensed with Keller Williams. I've been a full-time realtor for 25 years. I now coach realtors across the country. Today, I'm going to share with all you guys the importance of drone use, aerial photos, and aerial videos. If you're not using it, you're missing out. Why do I say that? Well, let's talk about buyers first. Buyers today, almost all of them are getting on their phone, they're getting on their computer, and they're putting in their parameters. They're doing a search. Doesn't matter whether on Zillow, Realtor.com, Keller Williams, Remax, Coldwell Banker, whatever site, we all share our listings. They put their parameters in and they see one photo of all the matches. And if that first photo doesn't grab them, they're not going to click on it to read your incredible marketing description or maybe see the other great photos. The first photo is the most important thing in marketing in today's real estate world. This is what it looks like on Zillow.com. All they see is one photo of the house, a price, an address, a short description. Notice none of these photos have, none of those are aerial. That's the way 90 plus percent of the first photos are in MLSs across the country. Now, when you use a first photo with an aerial shot, it just grabs more attention. This is what it looks like on Realtor.com. Same thing. All their listings come up, one photo of the house, an address, a short description, and a price. That's what they see. And it's exactly like that on all the real estate sites as well, all the company sites. Now, that was buyers, why you need to use it for buyers. This is why you need to use drone photography for listing presentations. You're missing out on listings if you're not using drones. All these listings my partner and I got because the previous agent did not use aerial photography and we told them we would. Photo on the left of all of these is the first photo the previous agent used. Look at that. It looks like a barn. A top agent had that home listed for over 500 days, 650,000 using that as the first photo. Who is going to click on that when they see that photo for $650,000? Well, when I met with the seller that very first day, I asked him how many showings he had. I showed him that previous agent's first photo on the MLS, and I explained the importance of the first photo. I said, when you list with us, we're going to get a drone up, and that's the exact first photo we used when we listed that property, and it sold. Same with this one. This home was listed over a year for $2,500,000. Photo on the left is what that previous agent used, and I didn't intentionally blur that. That's the actual photo the agent used. Mind-boggling. Bad angle, blurry, and it's not aerial. I explained the importance of the first photo, let him know when he lists with us, we're going to get a drone up. Photo on the right is what we use. Photo on the left is a good photo. It's good quality, but you can't even see the entire house. Over a year with the previous listing agent with photo on the left as the first photo. We listed it, use a photo on the right. It looks like a castle. Way more people are going to click on this first photo than on this first photo. And when you share that with the seller of an expired listing, they just get it. It's not only... It's not only a marketing tool, but it's a fact. It's, they need to have drone photos. If you're working with properties that are an acre, two acres or more, you need to get a drone up in the air. It only costs a few hundred bucks. You pay an FAA approved drone photographer. This one was listed for over two years, for over $2 million using this photo. A previous agent used this photo as the first photo. Got very few showings. We listed it, got a drone up, Got a picture of the lake. She owns all that property. Ten acre lake, two homes, a swimming pool. And we got more showings in the first week than the previous agent had in two years. Photo on the left was the previous listing agent. And I didn't put that white in there. That's the actual first photo the previous listing agent used. I let that seller know the importance of the first photo and then we'd get a drone up. Photo on the right is what we used. Same thing here, photo on the left is a photo the previous agent used, and this home was listed four times by four different agents before us. But all four agents either themselves or paid their photographer to stay in front of the house, take a picture, like 90 plus percent of realtors do. So it expired for the fourth time. I went in, explained to the seller the importance of that first photo, let them know we're going to get a drone up in the air. We did. That's the photo we used. Sold it pretty quickly. This is a, a, list, a home, a five-acre mini farm that we just listed this past weekend. 
So I didn't even want to list this one. I wanted to tip it to another realtor. I called five or six realtors in that area to try and tip it. And I let them know they had to use a drone photographer. None of them were willing to do it for a $279,000 listing. They weren't willing to spend $400 to get drone photos and a drone video of a $279,000 listing. So I went ahead and listed it with a partner. And that's the photo that we're going to use as the first photo. So what's the moral of this video? If you're not using aerial photos and aerial videos, not just one photo, you want to use multiple photos in your MLS and the virtual tour of these kind of properties, you want to be an aerial video. If you're not doing that, you're losing out on both buyers and listings. You saw how we got those listings. Now imagine you going in your market, looking at the expired listings for the bad first photo or the first photo where they did not use the drone where they needed to use it. I created a website where I have this video and I actually have 18 other videos at revolutionrealestate.com. It's a free website. You don't have to pay. I don't require your email address and your phone number. I won't follow up with you, but I do have 18 training videos on there. And uh, I also wrote a book. It's called A Revolution in Real Estate Sales. Wrote that uh, last year in 2016. It's become a number one bestseller. It's $9.95 on Amazon. I've got uh, the drone tips in there, and I've got quite a few other tips that are unique to real estate. One thing I can tell you, this book is different than any book you've ever read when it comes to selling real estate. If you order this book on Amazon for $9.95, if you don't like it, you send it back to me, I'll send your $9.95 back. It's a good book. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Start using aerial photography.